which is to go into your command run basically go into your iRecovery the SVN and copy the address okay put CD again space right click paste and then press enter okay once you've done that what you will need to do is uh, go into DFU mode okay um, to go into DFU mode hold the power button and the home at the same time so make sure it's off then to boot it up um, hold the power and home keep holding it hold and count in your head 10 seconds it got to be uh, 10 seconds or over um, and only a little over then once it's gone to 10 seconds release uh, one of your uh, fingers from the um, power button but keep your thumb or your finger on the home button okay keep holding it until iTunes pop up and says uh, it's recognized iPod touch um, or iPod um, in recovery mode okay so now you're in DFU mode okay now what you will need to do is once you've entered this um, this uh, in CMD is next add a new line okay and I'm not going to enter it obviously because I'm not doing it but what you will need to do is to put in I recover I recovery I recovery space minus F space I BSS which is in capital the BSS 211.dfu basically it will go find that I, re I recovery file and find the 2.1.1 DFU okay and then press enter okay let it do its thing basically what it should do it may be a black screen it should be a white screen but if it's not and mine wasn't is um, unplug your USB wait for about 10 seconds um, I did it instantly but just wait about 10 seconds and then put it back in and your screen will go white so you know you're at this stage okay now we're at this stage uh, what we'll do now is we're putting all these code in and I'm not gonna do this um, it's going in your command pr command prompt again open CMD and you're gonna put arm you're gonna start with the first one which is iRecovery S yeah type that in or copy and paste then press enter and you have to do it after every one you can't do them as a bunch you have to do each one so iRecovery then arm seven stop etc then get back uh, back to the exit and it would have done its job basically it would have stored all these stuff okay so once you've done all that coding from iRecovery S to exit now open your iTunes um, now in your iTunes you will need to hold shift which is above control okay do restore and now you can find your custom restore which is there for me and then click open uh, which is in the xpone folder so direct yourself to xpone install 221 custom restore okay so once you've installed that and it's all gone it should go to a black screen or a screen where you're basically sort of um, you know you've just done it okay it's sort of semi bricked in a sense what you will need to do from then is to go into DFU mode again I've already said hold the power and the home for 10 seconds release the home after 10 ish seconds and then keep your uh, finger on the home um, button until it recognizes an iTunes so now it's on to DFU mode again what you would do from there is um, navigate again to your CMD make sure you that your um, the first bit is you want to get it to the SVN I recovery so basically the same one that we've done a second ago the same script so s so it's CD space right click paste C documents I recovery I recovery SVN okay press enter then after you've done that what you will need to do is this time you'll basically put in the, the next code in which is the i recovery minus f ibss 211.dfu okay so once you've done that um, basically unplug it for 10 seconds after it's done plug it back in again okay and what you need to do is every time you boot 
now you need to do this okay so you will need to put i recovery s arm stop da -da -da. it's a new code and go to the bottom to exit okay and once you've done that um, start again and go uh, direct yourself to the iRecovery folder again. So go to iRecovery, copy the SVN address, do cd space, paste, enter, and now what you're going to put in is the iRecovery minus F iBoot 221 image, iRecovery minus S, go exit. Okay, so once you've done all that, it should reboot, and you should be on the new um, jailbreaked firmware, and it should be working. But every time you reboot it, turn it off to turn it on again, you will need to put this last stage in every time, okay? So you'll need to do the eye recovery bit, those two coding bits there, which is a bit of a pain. Um, this should work. Um, I'm not held responsible for anything that goes wrong, because mine has gone wrong quite a few times so do not um, basically this is a disclaimer so um, I'm not held responsible for anything that happens I'm just showing you how it's done there should be a better way coming out soon hopefully but I'm just going to wait for the untethered version this tethered version is a little bit uh, you know not that great and there's quite a lot of problems I'd rather just wait it's not worth it what you're putting your iPod through and all this coding from the can command and all that. Uh, I think for some people it's just going to go way over the head. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the jailbreak. Um, I'll be putting this all at the side, copy it, but um, I'll be linking you to a tutorial as well. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, probably use the tutorial, which will be better than what I'll be typing at the side. So I'll link you to the tutorial and go buy the tutorial, but go buy it via watching my um, YouTube video as well so you can cross check and cross reference okay comment rate subscribe and hopefully enjoyed this video and hopefully you're now on a jailbroken um, second gen iPod